Hello everyone, this is Motion Grapher here. In the last part, we had separated layers in Illustrator. And in this part, we are going to create business card animation within After Effects. If you have Patreon membership for our channel, you can download this template without following my tutorial. So go to the Patreon website, download this template, and edit the file right away for your business card animation. Let's start the animation of this business card. Okay, now drag the edited file into After Effects. You will see this window. You have to click on this composition and then press OK. Now you can see that we have already created a one composition, but you can see the problem is that its size is 288 by 288. No problem, you can just double click on this composition and then you have to increase the composition size. So click on composition and composition settings. You can change its size to 1920 by 1080. That is YouTube size or you can change it to 1080 by 1080 that is square pixels for Instagram. So whatever the preference you have, you can select or change its resolution according to that size. After doing that, we have to increase the size of all these layers. The easiest method is create a new null layer, select all the layers and then select this tool that is the parent tool and parent this to null and then scale up this null layer until you are satisfied. After that you can see that this is so much blurry. To reduce or to solve this thing you have to select all the layers and then click on this rasterize icon. If you cannot see this rasterize icon or parents layer right click here and then go into the columns click on switches and parents make sure that switches and parent layer is turned on so after doing this it's time to start animation but before that we have to adjust few things here so first of all we are going to animate this front or front card here so for that you can see that we have this yellow background this back black background so these all are the front card layers so i'm going to change these colors to maybe something like fuchsia so we know that we are working on this front card layers here and then i'm going to change these all others bottom layer to something like yellow so that we know that these are the back card layers okay now it's time to animate this front card here so first of all make sure that no layer is selected and then select this rectangle tool so select this stroke to none and fill to solid here select this fill color to this yellow layer and then i'm turning off this yellow layer so make sure that no layer is selected as you can see if we select some layer mask is going to start on that layer so we do not want that so make sure that no layer is selected and then select this rectangular tool and then just drag this tool to this front card size perfect i'm renaming this layer to orange layer and i'm dragging this right above this yellow layer delete this yellow layer because we do not need that now and i'm dragging this below this black layer now again what we are going to do we are going to add the shadow for this polygon because we have already deleted that shadow from the ai file so for that click on drop shadow and drag this drop shadow on this select this color to whatever you want just choosing this thing increase the softness something around 30 that's good now our polygon is set here we are going to turn off this polygon and logo layer now we are going to mask it out the black background here so for that click this black background layer select this pen tool zoom in a bit add point here second point here third point here and the fourth point as we have selected all these things it doesn't matter from here you can just rough draw and then close this mask out so you can see we have created the mask around this black bar now you can turn back on your layers here you can see that we are good now you can see that there are some flaws for adjust few things for orange layer so that we do not have this thing around and
Perfect. Now you can see that we have adjusted this front card. It's time to do animation for this front card. So first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to animate this polygon from left to right. And we also know that this logo is going to follow this polygon here. So if we position it from left to right, you can see that it's not moving for that. What we are going to do, we are going to select this logo layer and then parent it to polygon you can delete this null out because we do not need that now you can see that logo layer is parented to polygon if you press p for position and now if you change its position you can see that the logo is following this polygon so i'm undoing it and now drag this out to about 20 frames forward click on this or keyframe this position icon so at 20 frame this is the position of this polygon and move this playhead to the first frame and change this position of the polygon until it's out of this card now it's out from this card if you play this out you can see that this is dragging out but in the bottom dark layer or this bottom black follow this polygon as well for that what we are going to do we are going to animate this mask so select this back black background front layer at 20th frame click on mask path move this play ahead to first frame double click this mask and then drag this out until you reach to this point perfect now if you play again the animation now you can see that black background is following this polygon here but the animation is not looking so much cool for that you need to select these two key points or keyframes here right click keyframe assistant and easy is it now select last two key points or keyframes here and go into the graph editor and then drag it out like this turn off this graph editor and then play again now you can see that our animation is become smooth and it's looking good here perfect now you can add the fade in animation to logo for that just move to the last keyframe press t for logo layer keyframe the opacity at 100 move this around here and then change the opacity to zero now if you play it you will see that it's fading in when the animation is turning off you can do the same thing for this web text here but in order to change this text you can see that this is demo text so you have to create a new text layer and um, just you can see we have the layer here so www.abc.com and then rotate it to 90 and then drag it here turn off this web text here because we do not need now and then adjust its position to around here and yes we are good copy the opacity value for this one and paste the opacity value on this thing now if you play again you can drag this a little bit forward so that the opacity of this web's text comes later than this logo good or you can reduce or increase the time more so now you can see that we have animated this front card here it's time to do animation for this bottom card but before that let's add these all things into one composition so i'm going to add these all things into one composition for that select all the layers right click pre-compose and this is our front card content so we have front card content inside here it's time to start animation for this background but before that we have to adjust few things like we have did for the front card so for that again we are going to create a new shape here for this yellow one because it's not looking good right now or you can just copy that orange layer we have created before by going into the front card composition press ctrl command c come back to the edited file press ctrl v and now you can see we have pasted that layer i'm just going to position this down 
and adjust its position drag this out right above our orange layer turn off this background orange layer i'm just going to delete this out i'm just moving down to the back card so this is our back card here now we we'll do the same thing here i'm going to turn off this polygon this main text and now it's time to mask this out to remove this white thing here so for that click on this back card layer and then select the pen tool here or press just g make sure that you have selected this back card layer otherwise it will not apply the mask to the same layer click on this layer then add another point at this side and then one another point at this side then do the rough cut for here here and then close this out perfect now little bit back to copy or cover the orange area adjust the few thing here perfect now turn back on the main text and this polygon add the drop shadow effect or copy the drop shadow effect from our polygon from previous front card layer i'm just copying it and then paste it here by control v or command v and then i'm going to change the direction to here looks cool here and <clears throat> One more thing is that we have to like change the dummy text for these all layers here for all of these layers here for that we are going to first of all we are going to separate these icons here we have to mask these icons out for example for this email we are going to select this email icon only because we need these icons here for this web we need this mouse icon here for this address we need this address icon and we are going to mask out the phone icon as well just select the layers select the mask tool or rectangular tool and we, you can see that we have already masked them out okay now we need the text right in front of these icons the text we want to add because the text we just cropped out is the demo text we cannot change those things within this ai file so right click new text here so first of all we need some address here house number two street number one and why i'm dragging this out to right in front of this address layer you can adjust the its size and its font from this character window i'm just duplicating this layer by pressing ctrl d and then drag this out in front of this phone number add any of your phone number there then duplicate this again drag it in front of email icon add any email and then duplicate this again and we will add website link here now we have added all the text in front of these icons it's time to animate this back card okay now what we are going to do we are going to drag this text right above their icon layer so this house or the address would be right above this address layer then this phone number right above this phone layer this website right above this website layer this email should be right above this email layer and then i'm going to pre-compose it by selecting their layer right click pre-compose and email this would be our web this is our address and this is our phone number I am pre-composing it for our own ease so that we can animate them easily now drag this marker to the first frame press T and then click on this opacity and then you can move it forward to around one second and then click again on this keyframe icon 
you will see there is nothing happening because we have not changed the opacity i'm dragging this marker again to the first frame and changing the opacity to zero okay if you preview it again you can see that our text has been animating but they are all appearing at once so you have to drag these layers a little bit forward so that every layer will become later so first of all address should appear and then the phone number so i will drag this phone number a little bit forward and then i will drag this email a little bit forward and then website a little bit forward you will see they will start appearing in a sequence now so that's the more better way okay now it's time to animate this polygon with this main text so as main text is moving with polygon we have to parent this main text to this polygon and then you have to press p for position keyframe drag this marker 20 frames forward and then move this polygon and then create a one keyframe for this position icon move this marker to the first frame and then drag this out of this background frame if you preview it you will see that polygon is coming inside this back card but it's too much linear here so to make it more smooth we have to click or select these two keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy is select one of these keyframes click on this graph editor and then drag this out like this now if you preview it you will see that we have more smooth animation our animation has been done for this back card as well now select all the back card layers right click and pre-compose it i will call it as back card content and if you preview it you will see that polygons are visible when they are outside the boundary of these cards and that should not be happening there so what we are going to do we have to create a mask right above these cards layer so i am selecting this front card and adding a mask right above this front card if you preview it you will see that the polygon is not visible when that is outside the front card so we are going to do the same for this back card as well select this back card layer and then add the mask on this back card layer and if you preview it you will see now it's looking good but you can see that the polygon is overlapping on this text layer so you can adjust it very easily i'm going inside this back content here and then if i select all the text layer and drag them out a little bit to this point and then preview it again you will see i'm going back to the edited file and then i'm previewing it again you will see that the overlapping problem has been resolved here that's really good so that's all from this business animation today we'll see you guys in next video next week